Hello, Pulp Hounds. So, some of you know I've been doing uh, a story on the Sunday at 8 o'clock on my channel. Been uploading a, a, a ghost or spooky story. And so, obviously, I've been rereading loads of older anthologies to try and find something that's uh, suitable for a family audience but still scary. And I realised I didn't have an awful lot of uh, older hardcover anthologies of ghost stories and stuff. Everything's paperback. Pam Book of Horror, Fontana Book of Horror, uh, the Cynthia Asquith, Asquith ghost books, uh, the Fontana Book of Great Ghost Stories, uh, the Armada ghost book. I've got all, I've got like loads of those, but I haven't got as many uh, hardcover ones. From, and I love hardcover spooky anthologies, especially from the 70s. So I played a little game with myself. I went on assorted book buying websites, sat down with a nice cup of tea and uh, ordered some books. Now, what I did is I set the search term. So anything published before, uh, well, anything published after 1980 would be like removed from the search. Uh, it had to be a hardcover. And then I just did a keyword search for on each website. So I did ghost horror, terror, haunted, macabre, and supernatural. Just see what came up. Um, a lot of them had the generic, we don't have this cover on file kind of picture, like this, as I'm sure you've seen, or this. Um, you see those a lot. So I don't know what they look like. I don't know what's in them. I didn't Google them or research them. I just found the cheapest one uh, and ordered that. And I'm sure some of them are going to be library books or ex-library books. Uh, and I know ex-library books have no residual value for book collectors. But I do love ex-library books. Um, they're almost like the workhorses of the book world. And they can retire and find... Uh, a comfortable place to live out their days within my book collection. Um, and it ripped, obviously, but they remind me of libraries. And when I was a kid, libraries had a particular smell. So you'd go into the library, you'd smell that smell. Obviously, everything would be like grey plastic tables and dark wood bookcases. There'd be in the library where I grew up, there was a lady called Mrs. Bingley who operated the uh, quite a fearsome clonk stamp. For the but um, um, and just everything about it just reminds me of going and getting anthologies out that I was allowed to, uh, horror books, and you know discovering stories I didn't quite understand. The language of Poe was very difficult for me to get my head round, but sometimes there'd just be something that stuck, stuck with you. So I I even like like looking at the little date label you know then you look at it and go this the last time this book was taken out was 1979 and it's languished around in some book warehouse since then so no i welcome old ex library books into my collection because they're like the old guard the old soldiers they went out there and entertained people week on week on week and they can have a bit of peace and a comfortable calm retirement within my ample library so, yeah, I'm going to turn the camera around. I don't know what these books are. I don't know what's in them. I don't know what the covers look like. Um, so I'm hoping for, obviously, some interesting, supernatural, spooky horror content. Uh, I'm also hoping for a couple of stylish 70s dust jackets. So, yeah, let's get the camera turned around and uh, see what we've got, because I'm desperate to open them. Right then, camera changed round, uh, ready to go. Covered the address label up. Um, this one does, I think, obviously it does, contain an extra paperback. Now, me and a very good friend of mine, who's also an avid book collector, we buy each other a trashy paperback haul for Christmas. Um, and obviously I am in the process of putting that trashy paperback haul together. 
So I think this may be one of his books. So the extra paperback that's in this package uh, isn't going to get viewed. So I'm just desperate to like, let's just crack on. Uh, so a lot of them, I don't know what the covers look like. Um, this one obviously from Goldstone Books. Let's have a little look. I can feel something in there. Oh, it's not quite open. I'm too eager. Way too eager. Okay. What? Well, oh, check that out. So this is a book called Terror. Uh, an anthology of blood-curdling stories chosen by Brian A. Netherwood. I, I don't know what's in the... I'll just move the address label. I don't know what's in these. Uh, this is in really nice condition, and it's not a library book. Uh, I've just realised this is an awesome wraparound cover. Very, very, very 70s. Very lovely. So let's... Uh, let's find a contents page and see how inspiring this collection is. We've got Rudyard Kipling, Edith Bland, Elliot O'Donnell. I love Elliot O'Donnell. It's not full of newer stuff. M.R. James. Oh, M.P. Dare. That's a name you don't always see that much. Um, Robert Aikman. So there's, there's some uh, very possible stories for me Sunday story in, in this one. Oh! And you can see that. I'll just hide that. But yeah, this is, I'm really pleased. This is a good start. This is in lovely condition. How, how groovy and psychedelic is that cover? Oh, hell yeah. Right, that's one. One down, four to go. Uh, next is... This is just from a private seller on a book marketplace. And I actually think the postage probably costs more than I paid for the book and the postage. So let's find the, uh, let's find the way in. See what's in this one. Okay. Oh, no dust jacket. Oh, that's a shame. Okay, so this one is Medley Macabre by, is, it, is this Brian Netherwood again? Did he just edit the last one? Yeah, okay, 30p. <laughs> so this is probably worth very little on the resale market, but I'm quite happy. It's uh, it should be, oh, hey, oh, look at this. So it's split down into uh, into themed sections, much like uh, the Supernatural Omnibus. Was that Montague Summers that edited that? Oh, this looks quite cool. There's some uh, less uh, common names. A couple of H.R. Wakefield, Elliot O'Donnell, Oliver Onions. William Croft Dickinson. So there's some, there's, for me, there's some pretty, uh, pretty good stuff in there. Not necessarily maybe for Sunday stories, because I want them quite contemporary. Uh, well, contemporary to the 70s. Next, we've got one from Book Barn. So let's get this one open and have a look. Got a dust jacket, I can feel it. Ah, so this is my uh, haunted uh, a guide to supernatural sites frequented by ghosts, witches, poltergeists, and other mysterious beings. Uh, oh, oh, I love like 70s books about weird Britain. So, yeah, not an anthology, but I knew I'd ordered it and wasn't really sure which package it was in. But that's pretty cool. I'm looking forward to reading that. Okay, next up, let's have this one from any book. Move that out of the way. Anybook.biz. Um, again, I'm not sure what's in these. There's just, oh, hello. 
just move the address label. Oh, ghosts. Ghosts. <laughs> Look at that cover. That's awesome. Ex-library book, as you can tell. But like I've said, I love ex-library books. Okay, so, oh, St Mary's College, Strawberry Hill Library. And it, was, it does say it was withdrawn. It's not just generally robbed. Let's uh, have a look what's in here. Sir Richard Burton. Wow. Daniel Defoe. Eden Philpotts. Okay, so there's some... Uh, yeah. Okay, yeah, there's Poe and Blackwood. And as much as I love Poe and Blackwood, that's, I mean, that's cool. It's just, it's not necessarily what I'm kind of aiming for for my Sunday story. Mark Twain, wow. So there's some... Uh, right, yeah, there's some possibilities in there. I want a good old groovy traditional ghost story um, for the Sunday story. I've got the next one selected, but I'm I'm hunting through anthologies for the next one. That's such a cool cover. Does it wrap round? Yes, it does. Look at that. That's so nice. Ghosts. Right. Last package has two in again from Goldstone so I must have uh, I must have ordered two at once from Goldstone so let's have a look in this and I shall bring them out one at a time and see what we've got oh hang on Alan C Jenkins have I just yeah so that was the that's the same editor of as Ghosts, Alan C. Jenkins. Great. That is another gorgeous, stylish 70s cover. Look at that. Okay, let's have a little look at the contents list, see what we've got. Oh. Well, that's quite interesting. Uh Andrew Lang. Obviously, there's M.R. James, Blackwood, people like that, H.G. Wells, Monkey's Paw. That's one of my favourite ghost stories, and I know it's obvious, but I think it's wonderful. Uh, oh, I'll probably not read that one for my uh, Sunday story. E.E. E. Benson. I wonder if that's any relation to E.F. Benson. But yeah, that looks uh, that looks like another great collection of... Clanky Chain, Trad Ghost Stories. And look at that cover. That is just beautiful. I love that kind of ugly, brutalist 70s aesthetic. It, Yeah, it's a nostalgia thing, I think. But a lot of my book collecting is a nostalgia thing. But that's such a cool cover. I love that. What else was in this package? Get rid of the address label, and oh my word, let's talk of graves. Oh, yes, ladies and gentlemen, we have a photograph of a skull. I love 70s books with photographs of skulls on the front. They are just perfection for me. So let's talk of graves, tales from a century of ghost stories. I get the feeling that this one, with it being a century of ghost stories, is going to be kind of the Poe type thing. So, oh, Anthony Gittins, Sheridan Lifan, I just adore Sheridan Lifanu, Violet Hunt, The Sweeper by X Private X. That's, oh, and Bridge. So, yeah, in amongst the, okay, Dracula's Guest, I've probably got anthologized hundreds of times. And I collect Amar James books. So I've got a one into the curious in so many different editions from over the years. But it's still nice to uh, to see them pop up. But there's there's a couple in this that look quite interesting. Is that is that our lot? Oh no, there's some on the other side. Uh cool. Uh yeah. I'm I'm gonna So yeah, that's me that's me five. And the sixth one being the spooky ghost haunted Britain type book. I'll switch back to the other side. So that's what I got. 
thank you for watching guys i personally am not disappointed for literally i paid two to three pounds per book including postage um, and if you want to do the same some of these really cool hardcover anthologies are on a lot of the book buying websites go and have a little look um Content might be stuff that you've got anthologized a hundred times. Everyone can, you can just reach into your library and find something that's got a Poe story in it. And as much as I do love reading Poe, genuinely, Poe still excites me. I've seen his name hundreds of times in anthologies. But you might just get a little handful, at like two or three stories that you've not seen anywhere else and are kind of consigned to history they're just little gems so if you fancy playing this game do it get a record on get a cup of tea have a little evening browsing book websites and see what you can find and uh if you do it let me know in the comments what you get um so that's uh that's my exciting day during lockdown i hope you're staying safe guys and if you're locked at home then I hope you're staying sane and if you're having to go out to work while it seems like everybody else is having a holiday, I hope you're doing all right. Everybody, we just need to pull together as humans and look after each other. Thank you for watching, guys. I'll see you all in the next video.